I am CJ Brony and this is Thomas Madigan and we invented the Cougar Cleaner. So our original idea for this project uh, was similar and accomplished the same goal, but it was uh, much, much more complex, expensive, and uh, not as efficient. So we came up with this idea. Uh, this is the final project, and we dropped the balls on the top left. We dropped the balls in, and then the disc on the bottom spins, and there are bolts on the bottom, so it bounces around the sandpaper, and it rubs off a layer of lacrosse ball, and it makes it not greasy anymore. And these are two pictures of the final product. So tools we learned to uh, learn, we learned how to use during gates was the drill press, bandsaw, jigsaw, clamps, a tap and die kit, and a drill. And yeah, we wouldn't be able to use that unless we were in gates. So it's a fun experience. This is our sketch we did, and it's uh, two feet high, one foot uh, length, like wide. wide. <laughs> Nine inches from the top, uh, wires are connected to the 12 volt battery. The spinning, the spinning wing disc is connected with, through a, a threading of a bolt and a five gallon bucket. bucket. And our bottom box is uh, made out of uh, plastic and wood. So, our marketing plan so it costs $95.01 to build, not including the charge for labor and assembling the product. So, uh, we would use a 35% uh, percent markup. Uh, the retail of the product would be $128.25, and our target audience would be sold to high schools and college level players and coaches. Problems we encountered, getting the disc to spin, thread it, we had to thread the motor and screwing on a disc. Threading on the motor is a tap and die kit set. <laughs> getting the right length for the bolts, measured hole and added one fourth to the bolt. Ta taking the dirty layer off the ball is uh, gluing the sandpaper onto the bucket and letting it spin around. And getting the ball to bounce around in the bucket is drawing bolts or nails into the bottom of the bucket. So overall, we thought Gage was a fun class. We got to learn a bunch of new things. Uh, and uh, we can't wait to do it next year. Yeah. And then we have... Uh, uh, the competitor, or a competitor, uh, it's a ball scratcher, and uh, the ball scratcher is a similar product, but it's uh, more expensive, it's usually sold for $150, and it's also not as efficient, it won't clean the balls as well, after research. That's it. Thank you. work on other types of balls? Um, well, we haven't tested it on um, other types of like, sport balls. We've only used lacrosse balls so far, so we're not sure. And are the lacrosse balls still legal to use after they've been sanded? Um, after the first couple tries, they are, but eventually the balls will be worn down, so you can get like three or four uh, times out of the ball. Okay. And do you have any uh, pictures with you of the balls that, that have been cleaned versus the dirty balls, or in, in your presentation? Show it to, uh, to the audience, I guess. It was slippery and dirty. We don't have an actual issue with this here, but uh, this is the outcome. One of the so just, just a piece of advice. One of the things that uh, my company does right now is we've taken a, a technology called eye tracking, and eye tracking used to be used for academic research. Uh, so you know, I look at uh, an ad or something, and, and we can tell if the person liked ad A better than ad B. What we're trying to do is is use it in a consumer setting. And the problem that I have with that is when I go and I sell eye tracking, people say, well, why? Why do you want to put this technology in a computer or a cell phone? Uh, isn't this just used for, for very narrow academic research purposes? And so I have to start my presentations by talking about the why. Uh, in the past, we started out talking about the what. We can do it cheaper, we can do it smaller, we can do it better. But then the question always came down to why do I want this in my product? So you guys, I think, answered the what very well. You know, this is how we do it. This is how our invention works. Um, but, but one thing that I think you know, you want to start off with is the why. This is a dirty lacrosse ball. You don't want to play with this. This is what our product does to clean it. And that would be uh, a very powerful way to, to begin. Thank you. Um, I thought that was a very good presentation, boys. Uh, 
One, one question I have, again, is in the costs. Uh, why would you, you go to the cost sheet, we'll get there. I, I think you've done a good job in, in capturing your costs, uh, and, and, you, and you understand what a margin is, but you, you don't have it up there, but it, that's okay. How, have you researched what it would cost uh, to get a unit that you could plug in versus one that has to use the battery? Um, yes, we did uh, take that into cons uh, consideration, and the, the, it would be roughly 30 to $40 less expensive because we would not need the 12 volt battery. Less expensive? Yes. I would think so. If you, and it'd be a lot easier to plug in. You don't have to carry the battery around. It's, you know, just plug it in the wall. Um, that, I, I applaud your, I really do. Well, let's go, let's, let's take a look at that. So you have $95, so a large part of that is the battery. So if you can get rid of that battery and just plug it in the wall, it'd be much, much better, much cost effective, more margin especially. I, I applaud your, your market research. That's, that's a good idea to understand who else is doing what and, and, and what, what their costs are. That's very good. And uh, I was there with a, with a number of young men yesterday. I can attest that they put the ball in, it was dirty. When it came out, it was clean. So uh, you might want to, in a presentation, make sure people understand that all the more. It works, and it does work. Thank you. So a question I have is somewhat similar to, can you put other balls in here? But the question is, do you imagine any other objects that would need to be sanded or you know, roughened to some degree? Uh, well, um, like I said before, I don't think, like we haven't like, done any other tests, so uh, we aren't sure but uh, we probably will eventually try that. Okay. Any questions from the... Uh, yes? Uh, yes, the sandpaper can be removed. Is the, sand, the question was stated as, is the sandpaper replaceable? Uh, the sandpaper is inside the bucket and you can peel it off. So yes, that's the only part of it. How many uses like does the sandpaper last for? Like, how long will it flow or so? Uh, we haven't tested it, but we have like we haven't had to reuse it yet, and we have uh, tested quite a few balls. Oh, so, fair yeah. Goes. You put all, like, more than one ball at a time. You can put one or more balls in at a time, except it will take longer. So the fastest way is to put one in at a time. Wilson. Ah, uh, the battery. How is your product better than the ball scratcher? Uh, well, like I said before, it's uh, twenty dollars cheaper, and it is more efficient because I have seen the ball scratcher work. It does not clean off the balls as well because there will be some scratch marks left over. Chris. Is there a specific time the ball should be inside the bucket? Time? Like oh. Ah, uh, well, it depends on how badly the ball is. Uh, like uh, worn off, so like a ball that's just been like scratched up won't take as long as a ball that's like waterlogged and bent in mud. Question I would ask is about safety. Do you have precautions on this device to stop this from, say, your hand being in there and sand it away? Well, we see we have a switch that turns the motor on and off, and the ball is flying out. We do have a cover. Why can you not use the cover that originally came with the buckets? Because it would at least latch and clamp down more than just a weight. Because uh, uh, this is heavier, so even if the balls, they won't let you knock it off. Okay. Again, to this point, you should make sure if you ever did market it, excuse me, if you did market it, you have words saying be safe, make sure the cover's on top so the ball doesn't come out and hit something in the eye. You know what I'm saying? Safety's a big thing in any presentation. More questions? I'm uh, shady. Um, well, you can charge uh, these types of batteries, and you can use another, a different type of battery, similar to that one. You can get it out um, at the bottom. Here you can see screws that you use a drill to take off, and at the bottom probably will fall out, and you can keep the battery in. Uh, keep the battery out. Good job, guys.